All right, it's 8 o'clock. All right, guys, have a good evening. This is going to be a great show. They're going to be performing with us, and uh, this is going to be a great show. I can't wait to get them on. But I want to thank my sponsor for the evening, as uh, uh, Etch and Sketch Glassworks. They have done such a fantastic job for us the last few weeks. As you can see, they do an amazing job. Thank you very much, you guys. I can't uh, stress enough what a great job that they do. So professional, so easy to work with. I mean, look at the, the work that they have. Absolutely amazing. If you want to put your logo, your name, or anything on, any, on glass, uh, on mugs, uh, coolers, anything you can think of, Etch and Sketch can work for you and do the job right. They're absolutely amazing people. I want to thank Skip and Chelsea for giving us a hand there. And uh, uh, right now, if uh, here at Tasting the Heat, we definitely want to continue to bring you uh, quality programming and uh, to bring you more and more because uh, we strive to do this for you guys to bring you more and more that you don't see any place else. And uh, we're asking everybody if they could possibly go to tastingtheheat.com and we have a uh, please support Tasting the Heat click here. That goes to our uh, our GoFundMe page. It just uh, you know, five ten bucks for everybody would go a long ways to get better equipment to bring you higher quality uh, uh, programming to get us out to these shows. Thank you, everybody, who has supported us. It's been amazing, the, the outpouring of love that's been given us. So please give us a hand and uh, click on that. And uh, we're going to continue to bring you some great programming, some great uh, 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 information and news and interviews. Everything that Taste of the Heat is known for, we're upping the level to make it better and better with your help. Thank you very much. All right, let's go to Kyle Colson. Kyle, are you there? There he is. Yes, sir. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? I see you have all your uh, freak show uh, hot sauces there. Yeah, from uh, what we're doing right now, uh, the uh, last image we gave out was for Freak Show Deluxe, and um, there will be, I think, many more collaborative um, freak show products coming out within the next year. Awesome, awesome! I love the shirt too. <laughs> Thanks. It kind of goes well. You know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, I know your wife is with you. Now, where is she? She needs to get in here with you. She's a big uh, part of this. somewhere. <laughs> I'll find her. All right. So explain what you have right there in front of you. Uh, we've got the human blockhead sauce. Uh, it's a Brussels sprout infused water in this guy with strawberry and rosemary. And this was based off of Joey Dynamite Claire from Freak Show Deluxe. Um, give a little look you see on that. Nice, nice. And then, uh, secondly, uh, the amazing Boobzilla I contacted. She's a uh, sideshow performer as well, and we collaborated and made the avocado sauce for her. And and I gotta tell you, before you go on, every one of these sauces are absolutely fantastic. I've uh, I've had them all. You do such an amazing job, different kind of flavors that you don't find with anybody else. You know, I mean, that's, what's, uh, that's what I like about Ella Hot Hot Sauces, is that it's not the norm hot sauces. You take ingredients that you would never think of, and they turn out brilliantly. It's what a great job. Thank you. Yeah, we try to do some different and odd things. Um, the collaborative stuff is a lot of fun because I give the performer or individual three different things to work off of, and then... <laughs> We here, or not here, at home, at the kitchen, uh, we'll create a recipe based around okay. those three things that they give us. And some things can be a little crazy and wild, but you have to kind of bend the rules and see what happens. That's all right. Now, the next one you have there is the Sword Swallower. Yeah, and this is based off of another Freak Show Deluxe uh, performer, uh, Wayne the Clown. And Crystal is an amazing person, just like Joanne. Uh, they're actually the first two people that I contacted uh, with this idea of doing the um, hot sauces based after performers. And we are at a concert locally in town. Uh, Kirk Hammett from Metallica puts on a concert with all his horror stuff and... Uh, just different things on display, vendors. It's a really big, like, little whole day festival. And Freak Show Deluxe got hired for that. And during set break, I went out and talked to the girls. And 
just kind of spun off the idea and they were interested. So it kind of grew into what we're seeing today. Right. Awesome. Come here and say hi, honey. How you doing? Here she is, Kendall. Hi. How you doing? From gardening to selling hot sauce. (laughs) That's awesome. So now are you getting involved in this hot sauce as much as, uh, um, uh, Kyle is, or do you kind of try and hold him back to, to the, make sure he's doing it the correct way? Because I know my wife grabs me over by the shirt collar every once in a while and says, all right, you got to do it right, you know, and, and uh, she is the backbone of our company, so I know you've got to be the backbone of your company. Is that right? Thank you. Thank you, Kendall. That's very sweet of you. Um, I try not to be in the limelight. I try and do more of, like, the behind-the-scenes um, chores that need to be done to right. keep everything kind of smoothly. But, you know, all of the ideas pretty much are all Kyle's. He comes up with them. Um, I learned a while ago that I can't really stop him. I can't, you know, rein him back at all. It's right. What he wants to do. And you know what? I have not tasted a hot sauce from Kyle that I said, no, nah, this isn't going to work. That's awesome. Every single that he makes, you know, it is, sorry, no, that's fine. It's just amazing. Yeah. You, you, you are the, um, you are the same with Kyle as Tracy is with, with me. I bounce things off of her and it makes it work yeah. because it makes it such a great team for both of us. So thank you very much for, uh, keeping yeah. Kyle going. I really appreciate that. He's a great guy and he does a great job out there. Hey, yeah, thank you. And so are you. And thank you for your support and, and um, Kyle just thinks the world of you. So. Oh, thank you. And pre show well. I know that they're performing here, too. And I've, I've met all of these fine young ladies here. I have not met um, this particular person. But all of them are just so wonderful and creative and talented and have really big, loving hearts. And that's important to Absolutely. me. Absolutely. So Absolutely. I love everyone. Well, you guys, thank you very much. And Kyle, well, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to t- talk with me. I, this is awesome. Now, you're, Kyle, you got another one coming welcome. out that uh, is going to be abs- uh, actually for Freak Show Deluxe. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, we've been working on this for a little while after um, Tommy and I got to hang out at the Southern Sideshow Hootenanny in New Orleans. Um, I took a leap of faith on going out to the Hoot uh, last year with uh, the amazing Boobzilla sauce and tried that sauce on the community and even just the idea and it really uh was an overwhelming acceptance and it, uh, so many people are really interested in having their own hot sauce that's awesome um, in that so it's pretty cool and um just amazing people like my wife said uh tommy and i got talking about it when we were out there last year now We've got the product almost there. Um, I've written the recipe. We've tasted it. Now we have to go through all the other um, legalities right. and all that stuff. Right. And building the or part of the recipe, um, if I need to change anything a little bit. And then um, the label artwork's getting finalized. A couple of things are going to change on that. Now, and, uh, speaking um, of your label artwork, now you have a very famous person that does your uh, uh, label artwork. Is that correct? Yeah, um, I actually talked to John today um, to mention about being on Tasting the Heat, and he's excited. Oh, so, nice. Uh, yeah, John Perry is the uh, poster artist uh, and Pino Man from the band Psychotic Pineapple, which you've had that hot sauce that right. we've made for right. that band. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And, he, it, and so That's awesome. Kyle, thank you very much for spending time with us tonight, and I want to thank you for setting all this up because I think this is going to be a tremendous show, and if it wasn't for you and your wife, this wouldn't be happening tonight, so thank you very much, and I'm sure everybody who's watching is extremely excited about what we're going to be seeing tonight, and it's all because of you. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Well, thank you, and thanks to Freak Show Deluxe and everybody in the community, hot sauce community, uh, sideshow community for the open love and I love everybody out there. Um, you guys are amazing. Uh, we'll be going to the Fools Festival in Santa Ana this week. So it's very exciting since the community is just so 
epic and overwhelming. I love them so much. So we got invited to do uh, a, a kind of jester uh, sideshow gypsy psychic event. So okay. we'll be the only one with hot sauce there. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, uh, why don't we give you uh, give out everybody your uh, website and uh, your Facebook page so everybody can check out you guys. Yeah, uh, Hell Hot Hot Sauce on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and for our websites, hellhothotsauce.com. And we're always doing fun and unusual things, so just look forward to something new. Absolutely. And as soon as you got something new, we're going to get it out so that everybody can see it because uh, I support you guys 100%. You do the, the, the uh, in lack of a, a different word, the craziest stuff there is, but it works so wonderfully. And that's what I like about it. That's what's so cool. It's awesome. Yeah, we're trying to be the Ben and Jerry's of hot sauce. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Kyle, for spending time to us. We're going to go over to the Reverend Tommy Gunn. And uh, right. keep watching, and uh, thank you again, Kyle. Thank you to, to, to you and your thank wife you. for being on the show tonight and setting all this up. Kyle Colson from Hella Hot Sauce, a fantastic person, fantastic hot sauces. Thank you, Kyle. I see we've got a lot of people uh, tuning in right now. Uh, Chelsea, uh, Enrique, Christopher, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Kate. Uh, <coughs> man, everybody's coming out here. James. <laughs> Oh, boy, everybody's watching. It's going to be a great well, night. Thank you very thank much. Thank for doing the book. We're going to be in Enrique's book, so he's another great guy. Uh, check out Enrique Monroy's product. Uh, his book's coming out soon. Uh, there's all kinds of great things happening in this little community. Right. So. All right, Kyle, thank you very much. We're going to move on to the Reverend Tommy Gunn. Keep watching, and we'll talk to you soon, buddy. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, let's see. Hey, guys, that we got you on right now. Um, I want to make sure that we're uh, still streaming live. Um, I'm trying to watch here. I still see Kyle on there. Looks like it might have froze up a little bit. We're using up a lot of bandwidth, so uh, hold on just a second. Let's see if we're uh, let's see if we're still live. I want to make sure if anybody's watching and we are still live. I apologize. I just want to make sure we are still running live. Yep, looking good. Are we still live? Okay, we're fine. Okay, okay, we're fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, this is Reverend Tommy Gunn. Everybody, how you doing today? Doing great. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us on. I appreciate it. Oh, this is my pleasure. Totally. This is uh, Tommy Gunn and his family from Freak Show Deluxe. They have a fantastic show. If you've seen the promo, you can see uh, everything that they have out there. The, uh, the uh, tra traveling sideshow, uh, carnival sideshow uh, uh, event that they have. And it's called Freak Show Deluxe. If you haven't got to it, you have to. I will be going to the next one when you're in our area because i got to see this live. This is unbelievable. So what do you got going for us this evening? Well, I want to introduce you to all the members of Freak Show Deluxe who are here. Because Freak Show Deluxe isn't just the, the four of us that are here right now. It's actually a pretty good-sized organization. Like Kyle said, Joey Dynamite, uh, Crystal, uh, Crystal Curio, Winnie the Clown, you know, Vincent Wolf. There's a whole lot of the professor. There's a whole lot of performers with Freak Show Deluxe. But I have four here today to perform and entertain you. Let me introduce you to them. All right. Immediately to my left. You're looking at the queen bee of Sideshow, the one and only deadly and dangerous, but very talented and beautiful as well, Miss Malice of Forethought. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sitting next to her right there with the stocking cap on is actually the world's youngest professional knife thrower. At 11 years old, you've seen him on Got Talent, you've seen him on Super Kids. You're going to be seeing him and his sister on the upcoming season of Steve Harvey's Little Big Shots. Uh, it's Grinning the Green Monster. Nice. Hi. How are you doing? And then 
And then on the other side of him is the most dangerous little girl on three continents. She's only nine years old. Uh, you've seen her on all those television shows and more as well. It is Charlotte La Pequena Arenita, the little spider. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? This is awesome. Um, now, uh, when you guys go out on tour, uh, what's, what's your next tour date that you'll be going out? Well, uh, Miss Mouse and I are heading out on the road. We're going to be seen in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we're, also, we're also going to be seen just outside of St. Louis here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, there's also some shows going on in Houston. I'll tell you what, there's so many shows, the best bet is to go to our website, which is FreakShowDeluxe.com, just like it's spelled, FreakShowDeluxe.com, and then click on the calendar. Okay. Uh, you can find and track every place that we're going from there. All the links to our social media is on there, the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all of that. Our web store, where you can buy t-shirts like everybody's wearing. Uh, and then when the new line of hot sauce is out, there's also a link there to make sure you get over to Kyle at Hello Hot Hot Sauce and uh, get some of the hot sauce as well. Plus, Freak Show Deluxe also has a line of coffee, a line of cigars, a line of all other things. I mean, it's a, it's be, getting to hook up and meet up with Kyle and get all this going has been phenomenal for us. I mean, just really great. Because we've gotten to try the hot sauce. It's unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree. Uh, it, oh, yeah. His stuff's so good. I mean, his stuff's so good, you know? It just is. And then uh, when he came out with the signature <laughs> line for us, we over the moon. It's absolutely brilliant. I can't wait to get that one. That sounds delicious. He was uh, telling me about it the other day, and he showed me some pictures of uh, drafts of what the uh, the label's going to look like. And it's, it's uh, I don't want to give nothing away because it, it's going to be such a great, great label and a great, great uh, sauce. So, that's uh, excellent. And uh, we'll try to have as much as possible. We've talked in that uh, we would have bottles of the hot sauce with us when we tour so that you can buy it directly from us at the shows. We can autograph the bottles. Nice. I mean, that's like, yeah, that's a great deal, you know? Absolutely. So what are we going to, what are we going to do this evening? Well, let's do, we've got actually a couple things to show you. You know, a, a number of people have always asked, like, what is the blockhead? There's that first hot sauce, the blockhead hot sauce. Uh, the picture features Joey Dynamite. People always want to know what it is. Brennan, why don't you bring out a couple things right there. Show him yours. Show him mine. Where's mine at? There we go. Hold it right up to the camera right there. There we go. You can see we've got these steel spikes right here. Mine is six inches long. Brennan's shorter. You can hear that, right? Can you hear that? Yes. Yes. Uh, well, that is right. Absolutely real. No metal, no rubber, nothing like that at all. And what you do when you're the blockhead is you're going to put it directly into the center of the skull, okay? Now, I've got a weak stomach. Oh, yeah, take a good look. Greg has put his up there. Put it right up against the skull. You can see how far back it goes. Can you see it okay? Uh, can you? Can we get a little bit closer to the camera? Move a little bit closer to the camera. Me a there oh, we go. Scoot over a little bit, Charlotte. Thank you so much. All right, there oh, we go. How's that? Perfect. Is that a little perfect. better? Yeah. All right, so Brennan's right up there. I've got mine right up like that. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Now what you do is you put it right there, nice and gently, and then what you got to do is give it a few taps to get it started. <laughs> like that. Once it's started, there you go. You pound it right in. Like, how's yours coming? There we go. A couple more for me. Oh, I hit something soft. Hold on. Oh, there we go. How's that? Can you see that up there? The human blockhead. Both of you. Awesome. The human blockhead. <laughs> <laughs> Now, of course, that's only half the act, right? Because right. everything that goes in has to come back out. Exactly. So we're gonna, what we're going to do, we're going to hook that right up there. There we go. How's that? Oh, lower. Oh, there we go. Excellent. Excellent. That. I go. bet you people are applauding right now. I wish we could hear them. This is awesome. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I don't doubt they are, right, Grennan? Grennan's probably one of the younger performers to actually perform this on stage. He did this act for the uh, Southern Sideshow Hoot Nanny, uh, which was this last weekend in New Orleans. It's the largest gathering and convention of the modern sideshow people here in the United States. Um, and it's phenomenal. I mean, it's a phenomenal time for everyone to get together and for a lot of people to see like new things going on so it's pretty exciting 
pretty exciting stuff. Oh, yeah. Are you ready for another act? Oh, absolutely. Ready for another act? Is everybody out there ready for another act? Oh, I think they are. I can hear them applauding. Yeah. (laughs) All right, the next up, Grennan, scoot out of the way. I'm going to have her stand right here. Let me get out of the way so I can maneuver the camera. It's going to be Charlotte. La Pequena Aranita. Charlotte, show them what you got right there. Show it up nice and close to them so you can see it. You see that? Yes. It's a, it's a miniature tennis racket right there. Not full size by any stretch of the imagination. And what Charlotte's going to do, she's been training herself for a lot of years. What she's going to do is walk completely through it. Are you ready? Yes. You ready to show them how it's done? All right, kiddo. Go ahead and see. There we go. All right. All right, you going to take that off first? That's fine. Don't want to mess that up. Here we go. All right, so go ahead. Right through there. Put your arm through so you can get your hair through it better. There you go. All right, and then once that's done, what's next? What's the next part? Can you see that? Yes. Get her legs through there. Oh, my gosh. Well, this is probably a closer view. Wait, wait, wait. Stand up for a minute so everybody can see that your legs are there. There you go. We got the leg through there. And now, when you're ready, young lady, go ahead. And then... Oh! Yes! All the way through. Yes, excellent. Excellent. I couldn't do that if I had a hula hoop. Miss Malice, what act would you like to do? I've got a couple there for you. What do you want to show Excellent off job. Here Excellent job. Sure. Now, Miss Malice also has a couple <laughs> of acts right here, but she's going to do this one for you. And I'm going to scoot in a little bit closer so you can so you can see what she's doing. Sorry about the waving thing right there. Oh, there we fine. go. How's that? Now, um, there we go. One of the... Uh, one of the hot sauces that we're doing is, of course, called the Sword Swallower. Yes. Uh, but Miss Mouse prefers not to swallow swords so much. She's got something else she'd rather do. Makes her very popular. Part one of the classic acts of the Carnival Sideshow that Freak Show Deluxe specializes in. Now, of course, Miss Mouse, don't forget, is the Queen Bee of Sideshow. She's been very popular over the past few years. There we go. I'm going to make sure that you're in there. 13 years. 13 years she's been performing. Very popular young lady. Here we go. Miss Malice, when you're ready. I can hear his jaw hitting the ground all the way from here. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> And that's not popping either. Oh, no, it is not. Get in a little closer so you can see. There we go. All right. She's doing good. All right. Oh, did you bite it? Oh, she used her teeth on it. All right, we'll try another one. All right. That one That one exploded. So I want to give you a chance to see a few more. Now, Now, while she's prepping, there we go. Sorry about my hand there. While That's she's right. prepping that, uh, Freak Show Deluxe, of course, you can find us online at freakshowdeluxe.com. Uh, we're also online uh, on all the social media. So Tinder, Instagram, Farmers okay. Only. There we go. And uh, and the kids, Grennan and Charlotte, you're going to see them on the upcoming, actually, their episode of Steve Harvey's Little Big Shots is going to air on Easter Sunday. Nice. Nice. So that'll be on NBC. Check your local listings for times. And then, of course, DVR it so you can watch it later and you'll be able to find it. All right, Miss Mouth, going to try another one. There we go. How's that? that will, oh, that seems to be going down a little bit better. That one does. There we go. What do you think of that? Look at that. There we go. Almost there. I'm watching some of the... Now, of uh, course, once... I'm watching some of the uh, people, what they're saying, and everybody's like going, wow, holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say cow. Well, once <laughs> oh, look once at down, there's no way to pull the fully inflated balloon back out. That means there's only one way to end this. Miss Mouse, when you're ready. Ooh, and now we got to see the truth there, and let's make sure... And 
right there she goes. How about that? Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> totally crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that has to be a showstopper, doesn't it? I mean, people have to go crazy for that. Oh, absolutely. 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 Now, um, we said that we pointed out that Grennan is the world's youngest professional knife thrower, and, and we're um, we're currently at our touring address. So we're not out in Hollywood right now. Uh, okay. So it's getting a little dark out here, but I think we have some light outside if you want to come out and see. Yeah, yeah. You want to come out and see? Sure. All right, Grennan, you want to show them what you can do? There we go. All right, let's head on outside then and see what we can do. Oh, oh yeah, you have plenty of light out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I made sure there was some lights on, and we'll turn them off before we do any before we do any fire. Now, Grennan, of course, uh, there we go. We set him up a little spot here to practice throwing at while we're on the road. Always got to practice. Grennan, turn around and show him your, uh, what you got right there. Show him your knives. There you are. Now, this is just a small sampling of what Grennan's going to do, but Grennan, when you're ready, go ahead and Give a couple test throws. Let's see how it. Uh, let's see how it works. There we go. Oh, what do you think of that? The okay, youngest professional off. knife thrower. Fantastic. Awesome job. Look at that. It, right like that. Oh yeah. Yep. So he's been doing that for. Uh, he's been doing that since he was about eight years old. So it's great. It's a great, uh, you know, it's a great thing for him to do. He does very well. Uh, let's see. What else should we do? Great. Well, how much time do we have? I don't even know how much time uh, we got. We got time. We'll do whatever you want. I want everybody to hit the share button so that more people can enjoy this. If you're uh, everybody <laughs> watching out there, reach down, hit that share button right next to where you put the comments. Let's get some more people seeing this show. This All is right, amazing. Grant. And uh, what do we have next? Well, we're going to let Grannon throw a couple more. There you go. Grannon, you want to throw out? There we go. All right. Doing good. Doing good. It's been a little chilly out here. A little chillier than we're used to. There we go. There, yeah. So take a look at that. You can see the placement of, of those right there. Look at that. Some good stuff. You want to throw it one more time? All right. I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to throw I'm going to let you throw it. And can you throw it so they can see it stick in there? There we go. Did you see that? Nice. Nice. <laughs> There's some power behind that throw. Uh, oh, yeah. He's really, I mean, he is. He's the real deal. You know, Grennan, make no mistake. He's the real deal. Only 11 years old. The world's youngest professional life thrower. But good. He's good. Nice. Definitely so. <laughs> Thank you, Grennan. This is awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> so... All right, we're going to step back. I'm going to step back in here real quick. There we go. So, oh, my gosh. Uh, well, like I say, we can take – what else would you like to talk about? Because we can talk about as much as you like before we uh, – I figure – I wanted to say fire for last. Right, okay. fire to be you know, the finale of the whole thing. Well, how Again, long we can do it whenever you want. You just let me know. Okay, how long have you been doing this? Well, that's a great question. I actually grew up uh, performing – from uh, the age of five, my parents had a my parents had a traveling show, and I performed with them from the age of five, and had a great you know had a great time not doing these kind of things, but doing other things. But that was the start. Okay, I went and uh, worked in movie and television for a number of years, um, and then a number of years about fifteen years ago, for each other, like celebrating fifteenth year. About oh, fifteen years ago, then we started. Thank you very much. It's a great. Uh, it's a great time for it. We started uh, doing some things then. It was just me and another guy and a handful of stunts, uh, and it just it just took off. We were busking the queue of a theater, a big outdoor Halloween event, and it just took off. So before we knew it, we were doing big concert events. We needed to add more people to have a bigger show. Then I moved it out to Los Angeles, into Hollywood, California, in 2004. And after that, I mean, it completely took off. Now, do you find we it, our own theater? Do you find it uh, a bigger audience, a bigger draw now than it was a few years ago? I think so. Yes, yeah. um, I was surprised. See, we, we market ourselves as Hollywood's own and only carnival style sideshow. Okay, and that was because we were sort of. I was surprised when we got to Hollywood that um, there weren't more. Thank you. Very much, that there weren't more sideshows there. We were really. The, 
there were a lot of performers, but we were the only like set show. Uh, and yeah, that really helped us. We opened our own theater in Hollywood, on Hollywood's Theater Row. Miss Malice and I did. By that point, it was she and I, and we met up with a lot of new people and started bringing them in. And then the calls started rolling in. I mean, uh, here's, here's why. For example, the first season of America's Got Talent, probably a third of the acts that were on that show had been at our theater in the previous six months. Wow. Nice. I remember. I remember yeah. the first season. There was a lot of uh, performers, like uh, uh, I, what I what you guys do. I remember that. Yeah, and a lot of variety acts. I mean, our theater specializes in burlesque and sideshow and variety. Uh, so we were really lucky, and we met really great people, and we started doing lots. Of, you know, we started doing a lot of things, and now, I mean. We do a lot. I mean, Freak Show Deluxe does a lot of shows per year, about 30 weeks out of the year. Wow. We're booked. We're doing something. I mean, from from bike rallies, we've been out at the Full Throttle Saloon in Sturgis. Uh, five or, we were out there for five or six years in a row. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the Magic Castle in Hollywood, California, which is a private club for illusionists in Hollywood. Right. We were invited to perform there about five years in a row. We've been to amusement parks. For the past, what, eight, ten years? Ten. Yeah, about the past ten years. Amusement parks all over the country. Uh, concert events. I mean, we performed. We were uh, the Gathering of the Juggalos for Insane Clown Posse. We've done a bunch of events with them. We've appeared on stage with Jackal. We've appeared, uh, we opened up for the Necromantics. Um, what haven't we done? It's harder to say what we haven't done at this point. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's go outside and get some fire breathing. How does that sound? Absolutely. I'm going to set that up. Alice wants to tell you about well, this. No, come on, tell me. Well, Maroon 5. We, Maroon 5 uh, did, had big Halloween parties every year. Yeah. And we did their and we did their party. They were at the Hollywood Forever Cemetery, so we're in the cemetery <laughs> performing sideshow stunts, having a great time. I mean, just, you know. It's a barrel of laughs. We really, I mean, we, and fairs and festivals. I mean, the list just goes on and on. We have a great time. And you can see where so, you're at with you go to your uh, Freak Show Deluxe and hit the calendar page. Freak Show Deluxe and hit the calendar page. And okay. if you like the stuff like the kids are wearing, like the hats and the T-shirts and stuff, Absolutely. you can buy all of that online. There's a link to our web store right there. Uh, the hella hot hot sauces are going to be on there. So just click on that link. Take a look for those. The coffee from Turtle Creek Coffee, which is uh, you know, which is phenomenal. The cigars, I mean, the whole the whole bit. Nice. Now, if you want to talk to Greg and Charlotte for a minute, I'm going to make sure the fire is set up. Okay. Uh, it's just going to take me a moment. We'll bring you outside, and we can do that. Sound good? Sounds great. Thank you very much. All right. Great. Hold on. You two, talk to talk to him for a moment. You two. So yeah. the, now, do you guys take off school to go touring? Yes. Yeah. Sometimes. Okay. Well, uh, how do you like touring? Is that uh, is it fun to be with uh, with everybody out there uh, performing in front of everybody? Yeah. Yes. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot better than going to school. <laughs> but yeah, I really, I really like touring. Nice. I like touring, but also like going to school. So <laughs> I want to say hi to Froggy. Now, does people uh, recognize you when you're out on the streets from uh, what you're doing? There are some people who walk up to me and like, hey, you're that kid from America's Got Talent. I'm like, yeah, that's me. Um, and I mean, there's sometimes when people are like, can I get your autograph? Nice. And like stuff like that. That's got to make you feel good. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm very impressed with what you guys are doing. I uh, can't wait to come see you guys live. So thrilled to death that, that we had you on the show tonight. It's absolutely amazing what you guys do. Thank you so very much. And, uh, uh, I, I, I'm going to go to your uh, website to check out your your uh, uh, calendar events so I can get to one of your shows and meet you in person. How's that sound? That sounds great. Sounds great. All right. Thank you very much. This is awesome. Now, how's uh, how's the Reverend Tommy Gunn doing? Is he getting close? Ready? I'm ready. You are. All right. I'm going to grab that. <laughs> All right. All right. Can you see okay? Oh yeah. There we go. All righty. Now, before you get started, don't you have the world's record of uh, the, of the longest uh, fireballs? 
blowing the longest? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I wish I could take credit for oh, that, okay. but I'm afraid I cannot. But maybe okay. we'll set it today. We'll get it All on right. film and see what we can do. Oh, let's see. We'll add another one here. So hot sauce doesn't bother you then, does it? Do what? Hot sauce doesn't bother you then. <laughs> no, not at all. Wow. Oh, here we go. I'll try this one. Aha. There we go. All righty. So fire. Now remember, there's uh, fire is what sets us. Our mastery of fire is what sets us apart from the animals. You know that in pants. Ah, there we go. All right. Okay, you ready for some breathing? Yes. Do you? I, I'm not saying that I use hella hot hot sauce for fire breathing, but it couldn't hurt. See that? Absolutely excellent. That is amazing. Mm. All right. And there, and there you are. Thank you very much. Ooh, that is oh, awesome. Right back at that. I imagine if you're in the front row, you could hear the, feel the heat from that uh, big ball of fire, wouldn't you? Uh, oh, yeah. It's keeping us warm. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Woo. There you go. Oh, my gosh. So, so there you go. Excellent. A little, uh, just a little sample of sort of the, th you know, the things that we do and, and uh, the things that you see in our shows. <laughs> and I'm lucky, you know, I get to travel with my family, my, the lovely Miss Malice, you know, she's too good for me, but I still, she still deigns to travel with me and these gorgeous kids here, and I get to meet people like Kyle, you know, Kyle and I met, met up at the Southern Sideshow Hoot Nanny last year, and we just hit it off, like there was no tomorrow, and just, he's so excited about what he does, it's just a real privilege to be yeah. able to work with him and know him. You know? And, and you know what, he said the same thing about you, he said he's, he's one of the best guys he's ever met, so uh, the, I know the feeling uh, is mutual right there. <laughs> I probably owe him a check now, that's my guess. <laughs> well, you guys, thank you so very much for being on tonight. I uh, I can't thank you enough. This is such a great show. We got to see some things that people don't normally get to see. We got to see it live right from your house. This is amazing. And uh, when uh, you guys are around, look for me. I'll be in the audience watching here. Now, we'll be letting you know for sure. Hey, everybody, thanks so much for watching and having fun with us. It was really a lot of fun to be with you. And uh, we're, get some hot sauce, man. You are going to love it. Absolutely. Don't take up fire eating. Just eat hot sauce. There you go. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, you guys. You have a great evening. And thank you again for spending time with us. And uh, uh, bravo, man, bravo. Excellent job. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye. If you want to stay Good right night. there, I'm going to sign off, and I'll be right back with you. So hold it on for just a second. Well, perfect. All Bye. Right. Bye. 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 All right, everybody. What an amazing show. I can't thank everybody enough for being on here. That was. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Hit the share button so that everybody can see that. Uh, if you want to be a, I'm at a loss of words tonight. That doesn't happen much. If you want to be a guest or a sponsor of the show, get a hold of me at uh, tastingtheheat at gmail.com or on the Facebook of, uh, Messenger. 
Oh, incredible night. That's 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 just amazing stuff. Thank you again to uh, Etch, and Ses- Etch and Sketch Glassworks for their wonderful stuff that they make and uh, supplying for the, the show. Uh, Chelsea and Skip yeah. do a great job. Uh, please check out our uh, GoFundMe page at uh, tastingtheheat.com at right at the top uh, so we can continue to bring you great shows like this. And uh, remember, when you're out there, keep it in it.